Let's start with color spaces. Unless you have a really cool $6,000 monitor, which I don't, by the way, your monitor only sees in the sRGB color space. So if you present an sRGB file up on your screen, your monitor understands all the colors and can show them to you, no problem. If you have a file in the Adobe RGB space, some of the more saturated and vibrant colors will just not appear on screen because the Adobe RGB space is so much bigger than your monitor's sRGB space. This is usually not a huge deal to wedding shooters who mistakenly use the Adobe RGB space because they don't typically capture really vibrant color that goes beyond the sRGB limitations of your monitor. But this is a huge deal for commercial product shooters like me because when we shoot a vibrant colored product using the Adobe RGB space, we cannot expect the monitor to reveal those colors accurately. In order to get consistent and reliable screen to print match, you really need to use the sRGB color space. With the good old CRT monitors fading quickly from the photographic landscape, we're forced to buy LCD type screens for our studios. Now this is both good and bad. The good part is that there are a few really good LCD monitors available. But the majority of LCDs on the marketplace, including all laptop LCDs, are just not capable of giving us the colors we need for professional photography. You just can't go on down to Best Buy and choose even a $600 LCD monitor and expect it to give you accurate colors. I'm, I'm really sorry, but it doesn't work. Recently, we've tested all types of LCD monitors side by side in this very room for accurate screen to print match. The results, well, unfortunately, you're going to have to spend around $1,500 to get an LCD that's going to give you accurate screen to print match. That's rough. For the complete results and for all the monitors that we recommend right now, please go to this page. But remember, as technology comes forward, we're going to get better monitors that are going to be lower cost, but not right now. Monitors from brands called ISO and LaCie topped our charts. And when we need to buy another monitor here for Shoot Smarter University, we gripe about spending the money too. The days of the $400 to $600 CRT monitor with accurate color is gone. Well, for now, as we mentioned earlier, I suspect that we will see better quality LCD monitors and cheaper prices in the future, but for now, we're filling our studios with $2,400 LCD monitors. We're buying these ISO CG21s. Yes, they're expensive. They're budget busters for sure, but we're very happy with the results. Now, laptops, no matter how expensive, we've got $3,000 laptops running around here. They just don't have the ability to present accurate colors. So, don't trust the color of your laptop screen. Now, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't profile these lower cost monitors or your laptop monitors. Please do. Profiling your laptop or your budget priced LCD will make it as accurate as it can be, but just don't expect to have an accurate screen to print match. Instead, make sure that you've got a desktop Macintosh or PC in your studio with a premium quality monitor that you profile for your critical color work. Creating files with great exposure and great color balance is more important to good screen to print match than you may think. If you're a JPEG shooter, try your best to shoot images with perfect exposure and great color. Patching your JPEG files in Photoshop is not only time consuming, but each time you adjust exposure, contrast, or color values, you're changing and stretching and throwing information away. And even if a patched up file looks good on your screen, it may not have enough data to make a good print. 
Remember, it takes only a small file to look good on screen, but it takes a much larger file to look good on a print. Now, raw shooters have an edge if the exposure or the color balance is off. We can make virtually lossless corrections in the raw converters and solve just about any problem. But please, don't make the mistake of shooting in raw and then processing as you shot it and then fixing those exposure and color problems in Photoshop. That's a bad idea. Make all the corrections that you can in your raw file processor software and you will produce terrific files that will make great screen to print match. Photographic prints reflect light, right? Sure they do. Well, if you were to use a 13-year-old fluorescent light fixture that you got from your mother-in-law's garage to view a print, it just isn't going to reflect the right light in order to judge critical color now, is it? No. In order to judge or in order to view a print with accurate screen to print match, we need to use the same light source that our monitors use, or at least one that's as close as we can get. We set our monitors to equal amounts of red, green, and blue, that's what the monitor profiling kit does, at an average color temperature of 6500K. So in order to view these prints accurately, we need to get as close to that same light source as possible. Now, we have the ability here at Shoot Smarter University to have a color corrected room where the students can print or view a print under exact conditions by using overhead lab grade fluorescent tubes. These tubes have a high CRI, that's a color rendering index, and it's set to 6500K. They're available from a company called GTI. They're the best in the biz. Here's their website. Just pick up the phone and you can order replacement fluorescent tubes in the size that you need for your computer room. If that's not an option for you, that's cool. Just skip those goofy full spectrum lights or OT lights that you see advertised. They're really not worth the money for photographic purposes. And if your room is illuminated by window light, there are times in the day when the light is around 6500K, and there's other times when it's a lot lower, sometimes higher, so be careful not to judge accurate screen to print match using window light. Track lighting or other incandescent lights can be replaced with bulbs that have a higher color temperature. The GE Reveal bulbs, you ever seen those at Home Depot? Or other specialty bulbs that you can get from our good friends at bulbman.com? Will not be perfect, but they will raise the color temperature to get you a pretty good screen to print match. Sending sRGB files to your lab that were viewed on or adjusted on your premium quality and profile monitor will result in getting prints back that not only look great, but they will match your monitor. If not, please call your lab and ask for help. They have well-trained folks who can easily help you and they'll send you a target file and a matching target print to help track down your problem. As a photographer, working on a monitor that matches my lab is a tool that I cannot work without. I have to have it. And from the lab's perspective, they want you to have the ability to see a file on screen and know how it will turn out so that you can color correct your own images.